para sa problem na to, pinapahanap yung uh, power generated in horsepower. Uh, so, kailangan ang unit natin, ang final answer is uh, in horsepower. Also, sabi sa problem, kung babaguhin natin yung diameter ng rotor from 4 meters, kagawin natin 3 meters yung diameter. So, ano naman yung uh, power na magigenerate? Pero ito naman is for generating electricity. And lastly, pinapakompute din dito yung percent change in power. So, hanapin muna natin yung actual power niya. So, sa una, ang purpose ng windmill is for pumping. So, for pumping water. So, AP is equal to 0 0.245 times area niya. So, pi times 4 meters squared over 2 times 12 meters per second cube. Okay. So, makukuha na natin dito na actual power is five thousand three hundred twenty point zero nine eight six six three watts pero ang kailangan natin is in horsepower so i-divide lang natin to sa seven four five point seven para maging hp ang magwa natin sa gati seven point one three four three six Eight five nine five HP. So, eto yung ating uh, actual horsepower, no? So next, so kung papalta naman natin to, hmm, so kung papalta do natin to ng three meters, ah, uh, okay, three meters in diameter. Pero ang purpose naman niya is for generating electricity. So, yung formula na actual power is equal to 0.1. So, hindi na 0.245 kasi for generating electricity na siya. So, 0.1 na yung uh, coefficient dito. Times pi times 3 meter squared over Four. Sorry, dito pala ay over 4 times uh, 12 meters per second cube. So, makuha natin actual power is 1.5 Four five one two two four watts. So since and dang naman is in watts, so eto na yan. So no need na I convert pa natin into HP. So the final question is what is the percent change in power? So pagka percent change, no, percent change. So the formula natin is new value minus old value all over old value no? new value minus old value all over old value so ano yung new value ng power natin so eto 121.451224 minus yung ating old value eto ang gagamitin natin kasi naka watts to so 5320.09 8663 all over old value so 5320.098663 so 
2 times 100 percent. So, kaya ang percent change natin is equal to negative 77.04081632 percent. So, ayan. So, indication lang ng negative is nabawasan. Nag-decrease yung power natin. So, kita naman natin, nag-decrease siya from 5,320 to 1,221. No? So, yun yung indication ng negative. Nagkaroon ng decrease. Okay. So, para sa problem na to, so, hinahanap yung kaan ba nag-reduce yung power from 3 meters na rotor. So, ito is diameter, rotor diameter and naging 1.5 na lang yung kanya diameter, no? So, para dyan, yung reduction natin is kunin natin ay uh, yung original power niya, in power all over or divided by yung new power niya. No? So, reduction is equal to yung ori original niya na uh, power over yung bago niyang power pagka pinalta natin yung rotor diameter niya. No? So, dito, rho times uh, pi times 3 meters squared all over 4 times b cubed. All over yung TP nyo natin is rho, so yung density, pi times 1.5 uh, meter squared over 4 times p cube. So, mapapansin nyo dito is hindi ko na nilagyan ng values itong density sa itong velocity kasi sabi naman sa problem, ang napalitan lang ay yung um, diameter. So, kaya pwede na natin ito i-cancel. So, ito na end yung pi, saka yung 4. Pwede na natin i-cancel. Kaya matitira is 3 meter squared over 1.5 meter squared na lang. And pagka sinag natin yan, ang magiging sagot natin is 4. Ibig sabihin nitong 4 na to is nag-reduce yung power by 4 times. Yan. So, isa to sa pwedeng solution. Kasi yung iba, uh, nababaligtad, uh, which is yung uh, 1.5 divided by 3. So, naka-square yung 1.5 squared divided by 3 squared. Ang nagiging sagot nila ay 0.75. So, ibig sabihin, uh, nabawasan ng 75% yung power. Or, yung iba, ang sinasagot is 0.25, which is na-reduce 2.25 or 225% na lang yung power niyan.